I've got something new for everyone. This is Dragon OS. Uh, I guess I'm just going to call it Dragon OS Focal. This is built on Ubuntu 20.04. I'm going to dive right into this. There's a lot, uh, a lot to cover. I'll put a lot of it, uh, well, all of it in the README so you can see what's all included. But uh, right off the bat, logging into uh, this new build, you're going to be presented with a one-time uh, script that I put in place just so that I can make sure that I'm falling in line with uh, SDR play and the fact that uh, there's an agreement when you're uh, installing their API. So you'll see right off the bat I'll go to log it. This is after I've installed it of course if you're running it live you're gonna have to go to the user source directory and run their installer yourself. Uh, you may also have to uh, rebuild uh, liquid DSP but I've installed it so this is what I've came up with. If anyone has a better suggestion, I'm, I'm all in for the next release. Um, so you read through their agreement. You'll come down, you'll run the installer. You'll run it as uh, root, so enter your password. This will put everything in place for SDR play. Installation finishes. Okay. All right, so we're logged in. Uh, we'll take a look. I've got a, let's see, uh, RSP1 Alpha Hack RF and RTL SDR plugged in. I won't bore you with uh, a lot of the stuff you're already familiar with, GQRX, SDR Angel. Uh, we've got both Cubic SDRs, uh, one with SDR Play support, Q-Spectrum Analyzer, QT-DAB, SIG Digger, Spike, Universal Radio. This is um, all updated. You'll see the versions in the README file. Uh, I'm trying to think uh, some of the Big changes I'll just highlight real quick is, uh, well, the fact that it's GNU Radio uh, 3.8 now. So let's just take a look at an example. GR Paint is something that I've I've added. Let's just take a look at this. I'll open up one of the examples and let's. Let's make a change here. That's good. We'll drag over a Osmocom sync and I'll use the HackRF. Uh, be good about putting in your device arguments because there is so many drivers here, so it's best to make sure the device arguments are, are filled out. And let's see. I'll reference this variable over here, frequency. Yeah, and we will use the HackRF. 915 megahertz. Make sure because I'm opening these examples in user source and not using sudo to run junior radio companion you'll have to save your flow graphs uh, in your home folder somewhere or I'm just doing it on my desktop here so this should be let's see let's open it up in uh, let's mix it up here let's do I can't even remember now oh yeah QP guest let's use uh, I have the RSP1 alpha Oh, actually, I don't have the right kind of. Let's see. We'll try. I have a. Actually, maybe it will be okay. I have a cellular antenna on there.
All right, you get the idea. So that's uh, GR Paint. You can use it to paint some things in the spectrum. You've got the Tetra kit. It's in there now. Just make sure you follow the directions. Uh, Larry's, I think that's what it's called, Larry's Tetra kit. I covered it in a, in a previous video. Just note that uh, because it's GNU Radio 3.8, make sure you open the right flow graph. I did notice, however, though, uh, I'll say something to the developer. It looks like uh, you're st not able to, for whatever reason, uh, able to enter four digits after the... Uh, oh. And just like I said, it's best to uh, it's best to specify the device arguments RTL equals zero. So, yeah, I noticed that it's cutting off the rounding down again. So, I'll say something about that. Uh, all right. So, there's a lot of stuff in here. I've tried to keep it uh, almost exactly like the current build. Um, I'm just calling this a, a beta build until uh, I can get, uh, of course, more testing. But I've, I've tried numerous different uh, SDR radios, and everything seems to work just fine. And the fact that it has like uh, the newer UHD drivers, the newer new radio, I feel like it's you know it's inevitable. Uh, gonna want to. Keeping, uh, or well, yeah, keep up with uh, some of the new stuff that's being released, especially with SDR equipment. So, uh, yeah, pretty excited. So, uh, keep it short, uh, enjoy it, and let me know what you think.